Hello everyone, how are you? This is Kay. So in today's video, I would like to remind you the most important thing about the markets, much more than indicators, or it enter or it exit your trace. So this is the basics, but um, you may tend to forget. So uh, if you have been trading for quite some time, then this might be a reminder for you or if you are new, then you have to think about this whenever you analyze your trace and also looking for the entry timings. So let me change screen and uh, let me switch screen to trading view. Okay, so here is the USDJPY and this is a replay. Uh, on the 19th of June, a couple of days ago from today. But um, when you see the market, this is four hour time frame. And when you see this situation, do you look for a buying opportunity? Seems like it's bullish, right? After a range breakout, then um, the market is on N wave, bullish, which means that this is continuously bullish and also, in terms of Ichimoku Kinkohyo here, both Senko Span B and A are up, and Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen both up, and Chikou Span above candles. And then, whichever strategy you use, you look for an entry timing, or you simply buy and you put the stop loss below the Tenkan Sen. So, and this is seems like this is a good entry chance because uh, it broke the resistance and also this is called inside bar. It broke the inside bre uh, breakout bullish. So seems like this is a powerful confirmation to buy. But there is one thing that's missing on this analysis. Do you, can you tell what it is? Again, Kumo looks great, great and uh, uh, candlesticks look great and uh, end wave in terms of waves after the breakout of the range seems like it's bullish so you may think that there is nothing wrong if the market actually moving and based on the formal uh, psychology you may want to trade if the market's moving right now but here's the thing the most important thing you have to check whenever you analyze is scaling the chart. So this is 4 hour and my question is do you always check charts on this scale? Sometimes um, I see some screenshots of my students and uh, sometimes uh, students uh, share the screenshot like this. So when you scale for example like this then um, you don't see the range breakout before and you only see end waves. You do see candlestick patterns and Ichimoku situations, but you don't see something more important. And by telling this, you know you may know uh, what it is now. And that is the major resistance and the support. Then that's the topic for today. This is the most important that you have to check every time you analyze your trace. So again, if you scale like this, then you can't see whether there is a resistance nearby. But if you zoom out all the way, for example, like this, then there is a resistance level here uh, back in November last year. And if you draw the resistance level here like this, 142.25, and the market is almost reaching there. So here, it may start to retrace reverse, so this may not be the best timing for your entry. And in fact, if I just move the candles from, from after this, there's a big doji candlestick. You know, when you see this big doji, this means that the market is range within the last four hour. This is a four hour time frame. So each candlestick uh, has four hours. So within the last four hour, Buyers and sellers are in equilibrium and uh, long weeks up and down. So we had very spiky 
uh, last four hours. We can tell by the candlestick itself. But seems like the market is still being supported by the Tenkan Sen, and Kumo still bullish, Kijun Sen still bullish, Chikou Span above candles. So you may think that it breaks, but in this case, since there's a resistance level 142.25, I would wait for the breakout on the next candlestick and look for the buying opportunity. In fact, after this, the market starts to retrace, and if you buy, if you bought here, then that was at the top, and the market starts to reverse in this case. And now, Kumo is becoming flat, and Kijun Sen is becoming flat, and there's a doji breakout bearish, and this is typical reverse confirmation. So like this, whenever you check charts, the lesson for today is to check um, you know, uh, in the past candlesticks. You can uh, zoom out or you can simply um, check the high time frames like the daily chart for example. If you check the daily chart and zoom out, then you can see the resistance here. Or you can check the weekly time frame. Then uh, you can also see the resistance up here too. So uh, whichever time frames you trade, uh, my recommendation is to check always high time frames before you enter trades so that uh, you don't lose in this kind of situation. So because I say this because I used to uh, not to check high time frames, I was only uh, following like one hour and also five minute time frames when I first became full time. And that was my mistake because uh, one hour I was watching the chart like uh, like this scale and I did follow one hour trend and looking for the entry timings on M5 but I would never know if there is a resistance or support in high time frames. So I used to have some losses due to this and this is why now I um, check high time frames resistance and support and if it's there then I don't trade. Especially if you're new to Ichimoku and if you're new to my strategy then uh, this is something that you have to keep in mind first. And if you become better at trading by Ichimoku and also my strategy then you know which one, which resistance can possibly break or not. In this case, it retraced, but um, you will see exactly which one tends to break and which uh, pattern the market tends to re be resisted and retrace. Uh, but it's good to just not to trade when the market is near the resistance level or the support in higher time frames. So that was today's lesson and again I say this because uh, sometimes we tend to forget so if you keep trading near the resistance or the support then I recommend you to take a memo and write never trade near major resistance and the support and put it on the wall or uh, on the side of the frame, uh, screen frame so that you can always remember because you know uh, it, when the when the market is moving live, and when you are here, then um, you feel like this is the best market to trade. So, especially there was a range outside inside breakout, and there's a doji breakout. So in terms of candlesticks, you see the nice bullish confirmation. But uh, if you keep trading like at this at this area here then uh, the market tends to retrace. So that's my advice. Um, so yeah, and this is I think something that um, uh, you may miss out. So that's why this is just a reminder video for today. So thank you very much for uh, watching today. Uh, if you liked it, please press the like button before you leave. That would be great and uh, I will see you on the next one. So until I see you the next one, please stay healthy, stay safe, and stay gold. Okay, bye for now everyone. Matane. Thank you very much.